see the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives, we need to keep the word of God in our hearts. When we keep the word of God in our hearts, it cleanses us from all filthiness and makes us holy. That's the reason Jesus Christ offered himself unto the church. Paul states that in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verses 23 to 26 that we need the washing from the word of water we take bath every day because we want our bodies to be clean likewise every day we need bathing from the word in our spiritual life to be clean when we are clean the Holy Spirit it will come upon us that's when we can experience the power of the Holy Spirit how many of you want to see revival in New York can you raise your hands please raise the Lord we all wanted to see revival and we need the power of the Holy Spirit to see revival. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, we cannot see revival. The Bible says in Acts 1 8, when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, we will receive power. And we will be witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and in Samaria, and even unto the uttermost parts of the earth. But the question is, can Holy Spirit come upon us? When will the Holy Spirit come upon us? I would like to share my experience. I wanted to give you two perspectives to think. If you are wearing a white suit, if there is a dirty chair, do you sit there? No, you cannot sit there because you are wearing a white suit and it is so clean so you don't want to sit on a chair that is so dirty. So if the Holy Spirit wants to come upon you, you have to clean yourselves. That's the reason in the Old Testament the Lord told unto Joshua to, to say unto the people of Israel, if God wants to do miracle tomorrow, they have to clean themselves today. The word of God has power to cleanse us. Yes, the blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed us from all sin and unrighteousness. But in our spiritual walk, we need the cleansing from the Word of God. That's, that's, the, that's the reason Jesus said in John Gospel verse 15 3 now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you the word of God cleanses us from all filthiness from all unrighteousness from all dirtiness that's the reason we need the word of God to experience the power of the Holy Spirit my dad was a Hindu devotee 
呃，我的爸爸是印度的教的那些。But when he started to read the Bible, the demons within him could not stay. When he started to read the Bible, the demons within him could not stay. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because the word of God is clean and the word of God is pure. Because The power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So, if you want to experience this power, this power, we need to keep the Word of God in our hearts. You need to constantly keep the Word of God in your heart. When we keep the Word of God in our hearts, when we keep the Word of God in our hearts, it cleanses us from all filthiness and makes us holy. That's the reason Jesus Christ offered Himself unto the church. So, Jesus, that is why Jesus offered Himself unto the church. Paul states that in the book of Ephesians, chapter five, verses twenty-three to twenty-six. So, 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 Likewise, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our spiritual life to be clean. So, every day we need bathing from the Word in our And the place around you is so clean. If your surroundings are very clean, do you sit there? You you will sit in this so clean environment. You will not sit. The two perspectives work out. Even if you are wearing white suit and the surrounding is dirty, you will not sit there. Ah, we have two perspectives. One is you wear the white suit, the surrounding is very clean. The surrounding is very clean. You will not sit there. Or, or. Or if you are dirty, and the surrounding is clean, you will not sit. The Holy Spirit is always there. But if you are dirty, the Holy Spirit, you cannot experience the power of the Holy Spirit. So in the both perspectives. In the both perspectives that I told, we need to be clean. Ah, so we need to be clean. So, by the grace of God, when my dad got delivered from the demons by reading the word of God, you know, in the sense of the end, my dad was able to read the Bible and read the word of God. His spirit was released and he was released. He started to memorize the word of God. Oh, he started to memorize the word of God. By the grace of God, today he has memorized five thousand scriptures. Wow! Today, ha, um, he can memorize five thousand scriptures. And he taught us same to memorize the word of God. Then he taught us to memorize the word of God. And he taught us same to memorize the word of God. Then he taught us same to memorize the word of God. By the grace of God, I have memorized over twelve hundred scriptures, and I have memorized all twenty-two chapters of the book of Revelation. Today, the Lord's grace, I have memorized. 可以背诵两百多卷、两百五十个经节，背诵二十章经经文。I not only memorize them, but I recite them every day. 我我我我每一天都来背的。And I meditate on them. 然后我每一天都默想这些话。So when I meditate on them, the Lord taught me to worship Him with His Word and pray according to His Word. 所以当我每次默想的时候，神就跟我讲，呃，我要用他的呃来来话语来敬拜他。So when I recite them and when I worship, when I pray through the Word of God, that Word of God helps me and it shows me where I am dirty. 哦、oh, ，当我在用神的话来祷告，呃，来敬拜的时候，呃，他就向我显明，呃，我我很脏嘛。The word of God is a two-edged sword. Remember. 你说神的话是两刃的剑。It not only tells you where you are dirty. 它不但告诉你你是呃你在哪个方面是脏的。But it also helps you to clean. 啊，同时也帮助你怎么洁净它。So as I recite the word of God, it shows me where I am dirty. 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 It shows me where I am
And I tell the Holy Spirit to cleanse me because he is holy and I have to be holy and when I cleanse with the word of God that's when the Holy Spirit works in me and the Bible says we have to pray without ceasing so if we pray without Holy Spirit and the word we can pray only for one two minutes or we can pray only for five minutes. But when we pray according to the word of God, the Holy Spirit helps us to pray for many hours. So when I pray according to the word of God, every day I spend about three to five hours in prayer and worship. So when the word of God is inside my heart, the Holy Spirit gave more burden for the perishing world. So my wife and I fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, five times. From 2015 to 2020, almost every year, we fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and prayed for revival. We are so glad to see God using Pastor Leo to bring revival in Asbury. So the practice of memorizing scriptures helped me to clean myself. The second thing is the practice of memorizing scriptures helped me to spend more time with God. The third thing is the practice of memorizing scriptures helped me to fast and pray for revival around the nation. Fast and pray for all nations in the world. The practice of memorizing scriptures and reciting them helped me to write two books. The first book is Praying According to the Word of God. The second book is Worshipping According to the Word of God. We have brought 3,000 copies of these books and we have been distributing everywhere throughout America. So I have brought some books which are left and you can, you can take them there for free of cost. So let us keep the word of God which is able to cleanse us and experience the Holy Spirit in us so that we can pray without ceasing so that we can fast and pray for revival and not only see revival in New York but throughout the world God bless you Thank you.